Under international financial reporting standards, there are multiple IFRSs that address the accounting and reporting of financial instruments. Those standards are IS 32, Financial Instruments Presentation, IFRS 7, Financial Instruments Disclosures, IS 39, Financial Instruments Recognition and Measurement, and IFRS 9, Financial Instruments. While the focus of this course is to provide an overview of IFRS 9, it is helpful to first zoom out to understand how IFRS 9 fits in with the other financial instrument standards, all of which are instrumental to properly account for, present, and disclose financial instruments under IFRS. IS 32 specifies presentation for financial instruments. For presentation, financial instruments are classified into financial assets, financial liabilities, and equity instruments. IFRS 7 stipulates the required disclosures in financial statements for financial instruments. IS 39 preceded IFRS 9 and established the principles for recognizing and measuring financial assets and financial liabilities, the principles for the derecognition of financial assets and financial liabilities, as well as the principles for hedge accounting. The accounting for financial instruments prior to IFRS 9 was criticized as being overly complex. There were multiple approaches for the classification and measurement of financial instruments, multiple models for accounting for the impairment of financial instruments, and hedge accounting principles that were complex, difficult to apply and interpret, and that did not always reflect the risk management practices of an entity. To address these issues, the ISB set out to replace IAS 39. The overall financial instruments project was divided into three phases. Phase 1 addressed the accounting for classification and measurement of financial instruments. Phase 2 addressed the accounting for impairment of financial instruments. And Phase 3 addressed hedge accounting. The existing guidance for the accounting for derecognition of financial assets and financial liabilities established in IS 39 was carried forward relatively unchanged into IFRS 9. The ISB published the final version of IFRS 9 in July 2014, and it became effective for annual periods beginning on or after January 1, 2018. While IS 39 was superseded by IFRS 9, entities have an accounting policy choice to apply hedge accounting under IFRS 9 or to continue applying hedge accounting under IS 39. Additionally, in certain limited circumstances, IS 39 may still be applicable to specific types of entities and transactions as they transition to IFRS 9 and other new guidance issued by the IASB. In this course, you will get an overview of the accounting for financial instruments under IFRS 9.